Hello family, welcome back to Natural Lee. Today we'll be doing three different ways to use onion for massive hair growth. Three different ways to prepare onions for massive hair growth. The only ingredient you need is onions, where you can add garlic and cayenne pepper just as supplementary ingredients. So our first one will be using onion as hairspray. First of all, you chop about half bulb of onion and then add a little water depending on the quantity of your hair. If you have a lot of hair, you should double the quantity of the water. And then you put it on fire, low heat, just to simmer it a bit, not to boil it any seriously. You can boil it for about 5 to 10 minutes and stir it intermittently just to make sure the nutrients are evenly distributed. After it boils for about 5 minutes, you go ahead to sieve the mixture. You can decide to just take the onions out of it and then put the liquid into a spray bottle. Or you can use a strainer to separate the onions from the liquid. This is my applicator bottle or my spray bottle to which I will be using to transfer the spray into my hair. And it's clean. Make sure your spray bottle is clean. I then transfer the liquid into a cup that will be easy for me to put into my spray bottle. You can use a funnel if you want, but I don't have a funnel. That's why I put my liquid into a measuring cup so that it's easy for me to apply into my hair. Next on what to do is onion juice. This is one of the most popular ones that we usually use. Here I take half of the onion that I used to the first half I boiled it and this one I'll be blending everything. Onion is really really good for the hair because it contains high amount of sulfur and it really improves the elasticity of your hair. After chopping this, I add two bulbs of garlic. Garlic is also very important for hair growth because garlic is known to be rich in vitamin C. That is great for promoting hair health. After adding this, I add a little bit of water just to quicken my blend. If you want your onion juice to be strong, make sure your liquid is very little, your water is very little. But if you don't want it to be so strong, you can increase the amount of water you add. I then go ahead and sieve it and then add cayenne pepper. Pepper is also very good for hair because pepper promotes scalp health. When you are having sore in your scalp, onion juice is the best option. Adding pepper to it speeds up the scalp health, speeds up the health of your scalp, stimulates blood circulation and revives dormant hair follicles. It also helps in increasing the volume of your hair. So once everything is set, you put it in your applicator bottle and you are good to go. Now let's move forward to the final one, onion oil. So onion oil is a bit simple. After I grinded my onion garlic, I then used the rest, the residue, and then added olive oil and then coconut oil. So it's as simple as that. You then place it on the fire for about 10 minutes, not a very high heat. You can use any oil of your choice. You can decide to use sweet almond oil, castor oil, coconut oil like I'm using or olive oil as well. You can use any other oil, any hair oil that you want. When you are done and you place it on the fire, you have to be stirring it intermittently so that it doesn't burn, so that your oil doesn't become brown in color. You can decide to add ginger to your mixture so to remove the onion smell from the oil this is a secret i'm adding to this video you can decide to add ginger chops or just a little bit of ginger grounded into it so that it doesn't give it that pungent onion smell once you are done you make use of your sieve again you can decide to use a cheese cloth or just use what i'm using now just leave it there for about 10 minutes and the oil will drain or will drain into a different bowl 
this is how it goes doing your onion spray onion juice and onion oil this should take you about 30 minutes and it shouldn't be too you know tedious for you you can store it in the freezer after your first use so to make it fresh even when you are down like even when you want to use it after two weeks so you can see how dry my hair has become some part is a bit stretched and some part is really 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 chunky so yes yeah, this is my everything i'll be using the spray the juice and then the oil the oil is somewhere so now let's get started make sure you generously spray the onion spray into your scalp and use it to detangle your hair because your hair is obviously very dry when you're starting your wash day it's really dry and you should do this before you use your shampoo because onion has a pungent smell and you'd want to rather wash your hair thoroughly after you apply the onion juice so you have to do this before you shampoo and condition your hair don't shampoo and condition your hair before you use onion juice else the smell will still stay in your hair or if you think you do that and then shampoo your hair later you end up wasting your shampoo and then ripping off all the oils in your scalp or in your hair After this, I put my hair in a twist and when you have a scissors, you realize some of your hair strands are hanging below. You just use your scissors to dust it off so that you don't end up breaking hairs that are not ready to be broken. So this is something you can do once in a month. Let's say the first Saturday of every month you do this treatment. This treatment is going to go a long way into giving your scalp tremendous nutrients like great nutrients and great health because it's very beneficial for the hair try your best to make sure the spray is penetrated into every strand and also the scalp because you need to get this into the scalp and then the strand for the spray the one that is bold you can use it on your hair strands but the juice it's a scalp treatment it's mainly mainly used for the scalp so when you are done with the scalp then you scoop it down to the strands don't forget your edges your edges are equally very important and they need to go undergo correct treatment in order to grow and flourish so don't forget your edges whilst doing this just look for something to do so you don't get bored or so you don't get tired along the way now that i'm done with the spray i then have to go ahead with the onion juice the one that contains the pepper and then the garlic i then go ahead with the onion juice and as i said earlier it's a scalp treatment so you need to focus on the scalp before scooping it down to your hair strands shake it well so that you get all the mixtures evenly distributed in it
you can also decide to focus on problem areas so if you have a problem at a certain section of your hair please focus on that side like if you are using um, just a teaspoon on your hair focus use two teaspoons on a problem area so that you are aware that that part will be you know killed immediately or will be killed faster than the rest of your hair the rest of these onion juice will be kept in the freezer as i said earlier now let's talk a bit about natural hair so natural hair is something that is a journey and i understand why it's called a journey because you need to give it time you need to be patient with this because they always say that a thousand a journey of a thousand miles begins with a step and you don't expect your hair to grow waist length in two days now that you are done you can't do onion treatments without introducing heat into your hair so i use my steamer cup and then steam my hair for about 15 minutes and this is how soft my hair has become my hair has really absorbed the onion juice at first the onion juice was dripping on my face as you guys all saw now it has really absorbed into my follicles and this is going to go a long way because i'm also going to massage it in After shampooing and conditioning my hair, I'm back and I felt so good. The elasticity of my hair was good, like I really really enjoyed it. And this is the last part of the onion treatment, the onion oil. This oil doesn't have any pungent smell. Yes, it doesn't have any pungent smell. And I like it so much. So this is the, this is the final part of your hair, you're putting your hair into twist. You just use the onion oil to slide on the surface of your hair and then twist it gently and then nicely. Let me know what you think about this video. If you like it, did you learn anything from it? If you did, please comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts and also give me video suggestions you think I should do. I'll be ending here for today. My name is Lydia once again. If you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe for more videos and more updates. Until next time, don't forget to take care of your hair. Bye!